Hello, my name is Rong Lu, and I am a program manager on the Visual Studio team. In the previous video, we talked about how to install the tools for Unity development on your machine. Now, it's time to start building Unity games. Today, we're going to demo two things. First, we're going to create a new Unity game, and then we're going to connect the game with Visual Studio. Let's get right at it. Now we're going to start creating our first Unity project. Let's launch the Unity editor. Here we have an option to create a new project. Here you can pick whether you want to create a 3D or 2D game, and whether you want to include some asset packages on creation. We can pick one that says vehicles. This, is, this one comes with Unity 5. So we have some assets to play with when the project is created. Here we are inside the Unity editor with our first Unity game created. Here in the middle, we have our scene designer. And down here in the assets, we can use some standard assets that comes with the package to start playing with the scene. So I'm going to go to aircraft and find a prefab. Um, think of prefab like reusable components. So here I'm just going to drag and drop this aircraft into my scene. Now we have an airplane to uh, play with. We can uh, click on each part and move things around. And I'm going to stop showing off my art skills right here. Um, so here's this is how we can create new projects. What I want to do is I want to open a slightly more uh, finished project we have here uh, for the demo. So I'm going to open the scene right here from level one. So this is kind of fun zombie game. Um, what I want to show you here is how then we can connect this game to Visual Studio to start adding our game logic. There are two ways to do that. First is you can go to the assets menu. Um, down here, there's a menu that says open C Sharp project. Just click on that. This will automatically open Visual Studio for us. Now it's preparing the Visual Studio solution. And in a second, Visual Studio comes up. And now we have our Unity game opened in Visual Studio. Here's a, in, an intro page that talks about how to script uh, for Unity game. And here, we actually have our c -sharp scripts open in Visual Studio. Let me close this real quick, because uh, I want to introduce to you the second way of opening Visual Studio is if you already have a script file in Unity, um, see I have all these C-sharp files, I can just double click on any of the C-sharp files, which will then open Visual Studio as well. See, we're back in Visual Studio with the C-sharp editor open, and everything is now set up for us to start building our game. So this should all work automatically for you if you have Unity 5.2 installed. The, inst the Unity installer not only puts all the bits down our machine, but also configs Visual Studio such that it is the default editor for Unity. Well, that should happen automatically without you configuring anything. Um, in case you want to check if something is not working correctly, you can go to the edit menu, uh, preferences, go to external tool, look at this external script editor option. Just make sure Visual Studio 2015 is selected as the default option. And then everything should just work with Visual Studio connected. Now we have our first project created and connected. In the next video, I'm going to walk you through how to make edits to the Unity scripts in Visual Studio to start building our game logics. 
Hey, if you haven't already, make sure to check out the other videos in our series. Just click on the videos. And if you haven't got the tools installed, click here to get the tools installed to start building your games. Videos and tools.